Do you know that there are websites and apps that accept debit or credit cards without OTP verification? And I would like you to be aware so that you take care of your card very well because scammers are using it to have access to your money. By the way, Rolado is an online marketplace that connects freelancers selling their services with clients looking to hire someone for a project. You definitely can make money on Rolado as a freelancer. Since our platform acts as an online marketplace for freelancers and businesses to connect with each other, there are plenty of opportunities available where you can earn a decent income by providing your services. And if you're a buyer, it's very easy to find the right person for the job, no matter what the job is. Rolado's homepage automatically recommends free several freelancers and services on offer but you can also search for exactly what you're looking for go to www.rolado.com to get started back to the video in today's video we want to make sure you keep your credit or debit card safe and avoid giving it to anyone you know that is making use of this website we want to listen this video because they likely use it to have access to your money without your permission are you new to Rolado business and would like to receive more interesting videos like this? Kindly subscribe to us and turn on the notification bell. If you find this video useful, do well to like and share with your friends too. Please, note that Rolado business is not in any way promoting or encouraging any form of cybercrime with this video. Rather, to inform and educate your viewers on this channel, don't ever use it against others because if you do, you're responsible for the consequence of indulging in this format. Whether you're in Nigeria, the United States of America, Canada, the UK, India, or anywhere in the world, scammers can shop online with your card without OTP through this website I want to show you. I have a similar video where I show you how they hack ATM cards. You can check it out later. Most of them, once they have picked up someone's debit card or credit card and intend to shop with it, they already know that there will be obstacles. One of the obstacles is the popular OTP that is used to verify the owner of a debit card and that's why they make use of this website in order to bypass it. If you don't know what OTP is all about, then the OTP known as one-time password is used to stop strangers from using someone's debit card if they want to shop online. So if you in any way misplace your card, rather business advice, you contact your card provider immediately in order to block it because your money is no longer safe. Now, here are three websites that accept debit or credit card without OTP verification. 3. Buy gift card from MakeMyTrip.com I started with number 3 because MakeMyTrip.com is a very popular website. If you have your credit or debit card and wish to shop online without OTP with it, MakeMyTrip stores is a cool place to shop online without OTP. It is one of the shopping sites without OTP most scammers use today because they don't send OTP through their payment platforms. They just visit their stores and purchase gift card with someone else's credit card or debit card and then sell the gift card to vendors in their country. This is an easy way for for them to shop online without OTP. 2. Buy third party software from Grammarly.com. Most scammers wouldn't need this software because, uh, but there are people out there who need it. The main aim is to buy and resell to people who actually need the software. It is not only Grammarly.com, there is a lot of software out there too, so it depends on the one they can easily find buyers for. They just visit their website and subscribe, then can start selling the account to interested buyers. For Grammarly.com, they look for writers and let them buy it at a cheaper price. It is simple and very easy to achieve by them, so be aware when giving out your card details. 1. Buy domain and hosting from Namecheap.com in this case, they just inform people that they can buy a domain and a host for them at a cheaper price. Then after the agreement with the buyer, they go ahead and they bought it. Most of those websites don't request OTP because the payment gateway is not linked to any bank. Well, that doesn't mean that they support illegal activities because sometimes they use to suspend users' accounts if suspicious activities were found. As long as the card information is correct on those websites, scammers are good to go. I hope you learned something from those videos. Let me see your comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends on social media. Thanks for watching and bye for now.